वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टेक अप अनदर थ्योरम रिलेटेड टू पैरालोग्राम्स दे आर दिस इज अनदर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ पैरालोग्राम एंड इट सेस द डायगोनल्स ऑफ अ पैरालोग्राम बाइसेक्ट ईच अदर सो व्हाट डज इट से इट सेस डायगोनल्स ऑफ अ पैरालोग्राम बाइसेक्ट ईच अदर दैट मींस वेयर एवर दे मीट दे स्प्लिट ईच अदर इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स सो लेट्स ट्राई टू प्रूव दिस सो लेट मी टेक दिस पैरालोग्राम ए बी cd and let's draw the diagonals because that's what we have to deal with so this is diagonal bd and this one is this one is a c okay and let the point of intersection be called o okay now we have to prove that ao is equal to oc and do is equal to ob so let's do the proof so what is given so you can start with given given is ab cd is a parallelogram so you can write that and the moment you say see, so say so uh automatically other things are assumed what is what are what are assumed so ab is parallel to cd and ac sorry not ac ad is parallel to bc so these two things are there okay and uh, you have to prove uh, to prove what is to be proven to prove ao is equal to oc and bo is equal to od that's what is meant by bisection right so hence uh, ac is bisecting ob uh, db and db is bisecting oc so if i have to notify here so this is ao is equal to oc and with two such lines do is equal to ob right this is what we have to prove how to go about it so let's try the proof so whenever such conditions are there where we have to uh, prove equality of two sides one way of doing it is trying to uh, find congruences right so if you are able to prove that the given parts are corresponding parts of congruent triangles then our job is done and that's where it all starts so let's say let us try to figure out which two triangles should be taken so that all these components which are which are to be proved are there in them so there are two choices one is if you take a o d this one and this one let's say these two triangles but in these two triangles the problem is uh oc is not involved so again it will be difficult to you know uh prove do we have a better choice we do have so let's say if we choose these two triangles then yes all the components which are there to be proved are involved so let's try so we say in in triangle in triangle aod and triangle cob mind you again i am not writing anything but cob because that is where the correspondence is achieved right so angle a in the in the given triangle must be equal to angle c in likewise you'll see why in in a short while now d o d a o d a o this angle let's say x is equal to this angle is equal to x y alternate interior angles d a o is equal to angle b c Oh, and you can write alternate interior angles, right? Secondly, the other angle is also equal. And what is that? Let's say this angle is equal to this angle, isn't it? Let it be y. Y. So hence, I say angle A D O is equal to angle C B O is equal to y, and this was equal to x. And because of the same reason. alternate interior angles correct and we know that ad is equal to bc why opposite sides of a parallelogram we just proved in previous session that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal therefore by which congruence criterion you know by a s a congruence congruence criterion 
what do we prove we get triangle aod is congruent to triangle cob again the corresponding the order of these vertices are very very important because a must be equal to angle c right angle a in this angle aod must be equal to angle c in cob right so angle o must be equal to o and d must be equal to b like that in the given two triangles so hence correspondence is very very important okay now uh yes so hence what can we say now clearly ao will be equal to co and you can write congruent par congruent parts of sorry uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangle cpct similarly similarly you can write do is equal to ob again cpct hence proved this is what we needed to prove isn't it so hence now you know how to prove such theorem so hence the strategy was to find out one two triangles which are which include all those sides and then we using the properties previously proved you can prove they are congruent part of sorry corresponding parts of two congruent triangles and hence you can achieve this proof